My name is Norman Davies, and my colleague who's hiding somewhere at the back there, uh, we represent the Vanuatu Agriculture College. My job at the college is not beekeeping. Beekeeping is a side job. Uh, I, beekeeping was a hobby about 10 years ago. Um, actually, my wife and my girls were interested in beekeeping before me. But then uh, seeing how we kept the bees at, the, uh, at our backyard and how we interact with bees and uh, you know, learning about bees um, on YouTube, uh, I became interested in beekeeping. So even though beekeeping or bees have been introduced to Vanuatu more than four decades ago, uh, it is a very new thing to the local population. Um, instead of keeping bees, they run from it or they burn it. When they find a beehive or wild hive, instead of uh, being interested in bees, they, they, they burn it. They burn the, the, the hive down. And now we are trying to educate them and uh, change their mindset about beekeeping, about bees. Bees are friends. They're not your enemies because uh, with bees, we all know, we all depend on them. Uh, it's our livelihood. Um, I introduced beekeeping to the Vanuatu Agricultural College. We had only two hives then, two boxes. And then uh, with the help of uh, Gibson, we split the hive and uh, we introduced that to the college and we employed Tony. I, I'll just ask, Tony, you have a stand up? There we go, young Tony. Yes, and uh, none of us had any professional knowledge of beekeeping, not even Tony and I. Uh, Tony had a crash course with uh, Gibson and uh, started uh, uh, the beekeeping project at the college. And we were able to uh, send Tony to China for a training of three months in beekeeping. Uh, when he, Tony returned, we started the bee program at the college. Uh, we had 122 hives at the college. And then along came Cyclone Harold, Category 5, and we were back to zero. And then uh, we picked up from there. We never knew that, you know, you can secure your hives. We have, you know, fasteners. We, we were new to that. We were, we were the bush people. You know, we did it the bush way. So we never knew. We tied, it, we tied the, our hives down with ropes. We, know, we never knew that, you know, there are professional fasteners that you can use to fasten your, your hives. So we lost all our hives after Cyclone Harold. Um, and then we started again. We currently have 66 hives at the college uh, after Cyclone Harold in 2020. But now with the, um, the, the pests that we have and the problems we have up north, we're back down to 24 hives at the college now. Um, Tony and I were fortunate to attend a training funded by FAO, uh, run by the Fiji Bee Association last year. Uh, we acknowledge them for that because through that training uh, we gained a lot of practical knowledge, practical training, on hands training from uh, the B Fiji Bee Association. Uh, and then we went back and um, we started running, we started our first course in beekeeping at the college. But because of uh, the problem with illiteracy, our, our, I had to write the bee book the course book in Bislama. Uh, it couldn't be taught in English. So I had to rewrite the whole book again in Bislama so that we can start uh, write, uh, training, uh, basic bee training for our local, uh, those who are uh, interested. One problem that we face with uh, our training is we have older people attending, not younger ones, not the young ones, because uh, they're all out picking apple in the seasonal thing. So we can't train them. Yeah, so we, we're, trying, uh, yeah, we're trying to uh, uh, encourage them uh, to attend uh, B, the B training uh, as a source of income. Okay, that's, that's what I just said, and then I'll go to the next one. Okay, um, we started, uh, Maso and I started training at the college last year, 2022. We had nine participants out of the nine, I think, uh, up there. Uh, three were uh, female, uh, ladies who are very, very successful because they didn't go out to Apple after that. Um, 
they are very successful. Out of the nine that attended our first training, uh, seven of them are very successful. And just lately, uh, we were able to assist them to split their hives. Uh, one of them has, have now increased to about seven hives. Uh, and uh, some of them have increased their hives to two and three hives. So they're becoming very uh, good with beekeeping. The course will teach basic knowledge on, about different bees, uh, the different uh, uh, responsibilities in the hive, the, the, bee tool, the tools that they can use, uh, how to assemble a box, wax, the, the, the basic things, because that's, that's new. That's new to Vanuatu. And uh, one of the requirements that uh, we had before you could attend the course at the college is you need to find a wild hive before you can attend the course. If you, if you cannot find a wild hive, we won't allow you to attend the course. Now, the reason is simple. There's nobody there breeding queen. There's nobody selling hives. So the only way you can have a hive is to ex extract a wild hive and put it in your box. So part of our training that we, we, we do, we offer, is to show them if they find a wild hive, instead of burning it, extract you can extract it and put it in your box and start your colony that way. So that's one of the requirements that uh, uh, we have. A problem we have with that now is, uh, like Gilbert has just mentioned, um, with the Asian bees taking over the honeybee population, it's difficult to find uh, local bees, uh, be local uh, wild hives, and that is becoming a problem for us in running our courses. Um, Next is just the photos of Tony and I running the course at the college, uh, then the different practicals that uh, we put our students through. Uh, after the course, I was interested in uh, Chuck's uh, presentation this morning about the uh, uh, training he runs and the certificate he gives. Uh, Tony and I don't do that. We don't do that at the college. Uh, we run the course. You have to harvest your first honey. Uh, show us that you have harvested honey and then we'll give you your first certificate. So, yes, so that's a requirement that we have at the college. We also charge a fee, a small fee when we run uh, our courses, um, because there's a lot of uh, uh, NGOs or that run, also run B courses, uh, free, uh, because, you know, Vanuatu, if you have something free, the whole population will come, but nothing happens after that. <laughs> So, um, to find serious beekeepers, those who are really interested, passionate about beekeeping, you pay, for, you pay a fee. Okay, so you pay a fee and uh, uh, you to attend the course to show us that you are really passionate. We were able to get uh, small funding from the European Union uh, that we got, uh, we, we imported our equipments from uh, New Zealand, Ecortec, uh, and Part of uh, your attendance at the course, you would get your free equipment and protective gears, everything, and then you can go and start your B, your B program. We also ran a course, the second course last year on the island of Tana, where Benson is from. Uh, we had uh, nine participants, uh, 15 participants. 50% uh, of them were very experienced beekeepers, including uh, Gibson, who was at our course last year. Um, they started their beekeeping and then two category four cyclones came around in uh, March. Uh, cyclone Kevin and Cyclone Judy came around and we have to start from zero again with uh, uh, our Tana participants. For all our course participants, uh, we do a follow-up after they attend the course. We do a follow-up with uh, all our participants just to monitor their, their bees, monitor their performance, and give them advice, technical advice and assistance. Every month, Tony goes around. So after we go back to Vanuatu, uh, and next week, Tony would be going down to Tana to assist our new uh, bee farmers on Tana. And uh, after that, the following week, we have um, a request from the Prime Minister of Vanuatu to run training. He has paid for it. So yeah, we have to go run a training for him uh, when we get back, for him and his, uh, whoever is, he wants uh, to attend the, his participants. 
Uh, so we have to run a training. So it's good that we have um, our prime minister interested. So that's the training on Tana, uh, the pictures of the training. Uh, that's extracting a wild hive on Tana. And another on just on the other side is uh, splitting. We, we assisted one of our farmers there to split one of his hives uh, to increase his hives. Uh, so that's that's uh, the participant that we split his hive and we, the uh, the free equipment and the tools that he got after the training. Uh, so that's the, uh, the the training we ran on Tana. Now the problems uh, Gibson has mentioned them. Uh, Varroa mite chalk brood is one of our biggest problem up north because of the amount of rain we get. Um, even during the dry season, the weather department would say, oh, the dry season has now started. 50%, uh, 60, 70% of the dry season is wet. It's, all, it's raining. So that has affected our, our production, uh, honey production. Uh, that has uh, in decreased our uh, production uh, in a big way. Uh, Varroa mite is another problem, and the Asian bee, uh, Episarana, is a major problem. I, I'll show you a picture of that here. Uh, that's an Episarana hive we have, and we have thousands of those kind of hives uh, in uh, Vanuatu. That's causing a lot of problems. And adverse weather conditions, that is, uh, uh, we found that uh, with the amount of rain and the humidity that we're getting, our, our beehives are swarming for no reason. Uh, and that's another issue that we want to bring up with uh, uh, as we uh, attend this, uh, this uh, conference, if the, you know, the experts can help us with that. Um, we, from now on, we were just discussing just uh, outside, just after, during the tea break. Uh, Tony and I would uh, go back and uh, do a presentation to, we are planning to do a presentation to uh, the Prime Minister, who is now interested and is uh, uh, very supportive, uh, and his ministers and all the government department directors, um, to educate them about uh, the importance of beekeeping. Uh, so, um, yes, uh, so we, 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 we're happy that we can see all these presentations uh, from different countries, and we'll pick up what we, we, we need and we'll do that presentation to, to the, when we go back to the ministers and the prime minister because they think B is not important, is not an important part of our life. So we will do that to the minister, so the prime minister and his office and the ministers so that they can from now on support us all with our beekeeping in Vanuatu. Okay.